Hello everyone, this is your civics teacher here and this time I'm here with the very first chapter of NCRT grade 7 that is on equality. Students, in this chapter through the experiences of the different people we will introduce the concept of dignity and students we will also learn about the government's role in passing laws and instituting policies that discuss to show that commitment to the elevation of existing inequalities is a major part of the work that governments undertake and students your this chapter will also briefly introduce an issue of the inequality in the United States of America to highlight that this is a global phenomena and a feature of many democratic countries so let's start now students as you can see here the heading equal right to vote a students right to vote means that all citizens whether rich or poor black or fair literate or illiterate with any caste or background are allowed to vote and this plan right to vote has given people certain rights and they enjoy their democracy students due to this excellent plan people can vote to the person or representative they believed or trust and can make him or her win and students if in case that person doesn't do the work properly he or she can be again thrown out of power and students actually right to vote gives a person one's right and make them realize that they are too important for the society and students this we call as universal adult franchise means every individual who is 18 or above 18 years of age have the right to vote and this universal adult franchise is one of the most essential aspect of a democracy and students this idea of universal adult franchise is based on the idea of equality now let's move on towards the next slide students as you can see the heading other kinds of equality students apart from being poor people in indian society experience different kind of inequality and that is basically based on the caste system so let's discuss how people experience inequality on the basis of the caste system recognizing dignity students the word dignity means the state or or quality of being worthy of honor or respect means whenever persons are treated unequally means their dignity is violated their honor their respect is violated and so students dignity is the right of every individual to be valued and respected for their own sake and they should be treated ethically or equally now students let's take an example of such a caste based equality and in this we will basically discuss a case study of Om Prakash Valmiki. Students, this man over here in this picture, Om Prakash Valmiki, he was born on 30 June 1950 and was died on 17 November 2013. Student, he was an Indian Dalit writer and poet and he was well known in the Indian literature for his autobiography Juthan and students his this autobiography Juthan considered a milestone in Dalit literature and today he was born at the village of Barla in the Mujaffar Nagar district of Uttar Pradesh and students after his retirement from the government ordinance factory he lived in Dehradun where he died of illness due to stomach cancer on 17 November 2013 and students as I said that Om Prakash Valmiki is a great poet and short story writer in Hindi Dalit literature and his autobiographical work Juthan is, is basically based on his miserable birth and life because he himself belonged to a Dalit family students the word Juthan the word Juthan literally means scraps or leftover food on a 
प्लेट एंड दिस वर्ड इज रिलेटेड टू द वर्ड जूठा विच मीन्स पॉल्यूटेड एंड स्टूडेंट इन इज बुक जूठन एज यू कैन सी हेयर द कवर पेज ऑफ दिस बुक of his autobiographical work juthan in which he shows that how the sweeper caste who were considered as untouchable in the society faced pain hurt humiliation and poverty by the so called upper class section of the society and a student in his this autobiographical work means to say juthan he wrote that he had to sit away from the others in the class and that too on the floor and the mat ran out before reaching the spot where he basically sat on and students sometimes he would have to sit way behind everybody right near the door and sometimes they would beat him without any reason and students once when he was in class 4 the headmaster asked om prakash to sweep the school and the playgrounds now students you can imagine that what pain hard humiliation and poverty he was going through and in this book he also write that that the playground was way larger than his small physique could handle and in cleaning it and whenever he did this his face was covered with dust and even sometimes dust go inside his mouth and sometimes dust had even gone inside his mouth and the students while the other children in his class were studying he was sweeping the whole school and had master was sitting in his room and watching him and the students he also write that he was not even allowed to get a drink of water and he swept the whole day from doors and windows of the school room so the eyes of the teachers and the boys saw this spectacle but no one could raise the voice against it and it seems that's how the people of the sweeper caste or untouchables were treated by the so called upper class of the society now students as you can see here the heading equality in indian democracy students the indian constitution recognize every person as equal before law and it means that every individual in the country belonging to any caste religion tribe economic or educational background is equal and students this doesn't guarantee any elimination of inequality in the society but now there are many laws that seek to ensure that people are treated equally and with dignity and as you can see here here are some provisions also that are made by the indian constitution so in order to make a equality in the society as number 1 every person is equal before law it means that every citizen has the same rights no exceptions for rich people politician foreign people or mass murderer and students rich people don't have more to say just because they are rich they don't get extra legal voting points or have the ability to take rights away from others that's important in a democracy the next provision is no person can be discriminated against on the basis of their religion race caste place of birth or whether they are female or male means that there will be equality or no one can be discriminated against on the basis of their religion caste sex creed and place of birth etc next provision is that every person has access to all public places means to say every person whether belonging to any caste religion race place of birth can use all public places that are basically made by the government like public parks temples etc and the next provision that is made by the indian constitution is untouchability has been abolished so students to maintain our equality in society our constitution has made different provisions for abolition of untouchability now let's move on towards the next slide students 
basically there are two ways through which the government has tried to implement the equality that is guaranteed in the constitution so the students the first way is through laws means that there are several laws in our indian constitution that protect every person's right to be treated as equal and the second way through government programs or schemes students there are many schemes and programs that help the disadvantaged section of the societies and these offer great opportunities to the previously previously discriminated section of the society for their growth and development and students one such step taken by the government is mid day meal scheme now students as you can see here the heading mid day meal scheme so in this section you will learn that what is mid day meal scheme and what is the purpose behind this program to introduce students mid day meal program or mid day meal scheme refers to the program introduced in all government elementary schools to provide children with cooked lunch elementary means from kg section to up to class 8 and students tamil nadu was the first state in india to introduce this scheme and in 2001 the supreme court asked all the state governments to begin this program in their school within 6 month and the purpose behind introducing this is to abolish the untouchability from the society students this program has also helped reduce caste prejudices because both lower and upper caste children in the school eat this meal together as you can see in this figure also and in a quite few places dalit women have been employed to cook the meal and the mid day meal program also helps reduce the hunger of the poor students who often come to a school and cannot concentrate because their stomachs are empty students while government programs plays an important role in increasing equality of opportunity in the society but still there is much that needs to be done students while the mid day meal program has helped increase the enrollment and attendance of poor children in school there continues to be big differences in our country between schools that the rich attend and those that the poor attend even today there are several schools in the country in which dalit children like om prakash valmiki case that we already discussed in the earlier section are discriminated against and treated unequally and these children are forced into unequal situation in which their dignity is not respected and student this is just because that many people of our society refuse to think of them them means these lower caste people as equal even though the law requires it and one of the main reasons for this is that attitudes change very slowly even though persons are aware that discrimination is against the law they continue to treat people unequally on the basis of their caste religion disability economic status and because they are women and students equality is possible in the society only when people begin to believe that no one is inferior and that every person deserves to be treated with dignity then the present attitude can change issues of equality in other democracies students you are probably wondering whether india is the only democratic country in which there is inequality and where the struggle for equality continues to be exist well it is not true the truth is that in many democratic countries around the world the issue of equality continues to be the key issue around which communities struggle and as you can see here here are basically some examples that help you to understand the issues of equality in the other democracies of the world as the first example in the united state of america students here in united state america that time the african american whose ancestor were the slaves and they were brought over from the africa continue to describe their lives today as largely unequal as they are discriminated 
on the basis of their color means racism and despite the fact that there was a movement in the late 1950s to push for equal rights for african american prior to this african american were treated extremely unequal in the united states and denied equality through law now here is an example student that will help you to understand more clearly there was an incident in united state of america when traveling by bus the african american either had to sit at the back of the bus or get up from their seat whenever a white person wished to sit and there was a courageous african american lady named rosa park and she refused to give up her seat on a bus to a white man on december 1st 1955 and her refusal that day started a huge agitation against the unequal ways in which african americans were treated and which came to be known as the civil right movement and that's how the civil right act of 1964 came into existing usa means united state of america and according to the civil right act of 1964 it completely prohibited discrimination on the basis of race religion or national origin and students this act also stated that all schools would be open to african american children and they would no longer have to attend separate schools especially set up for them as before for 1964 now student here is an excerpt from the article 15 of the indian constitution and students the article 15 of our indian constitutions the prohibited discrimination on grounds of religion race caste sex or place of birth and article 15 says that the state shall not discriminate against any citizen of the country on the basis of their religion race caste sex place of birth or any of them secondly article 15 says that no citizen shall on grounds only of religion race caste sex place of birth or any of them be subject to any disability liability restriction or condition with regard to means no citizen shall be discriminated or restricted to access to shops public restaurants hotels and and places of public entertainment or no citizen shall be restricted by the use of wells tanks bathing gardens roads and places of public resort that are basically maintained wholly or partly by the state or the central government now students as you can see the heading here challenge of democracy students no country can be described as being completely democratic in its own there are still many hindrances in the path of a democracy that make unable to form a country a democratic country so there are always many communities and individuals who always trying to expand the idea of democracy and push for a greater recognition of equality on existing as well as new issues in the society so students there are still to be done for the recognition of all persons as equal and their dignity to be maintained in the society yes, students now your chapter number 1 is finished here with this topic now i will be come back soon with a new chapter till then stay home stay safe